My name is Sandy. Sandy because of Brian Andy. Sandy Braxton. And, um... Well, my name... But you should call her E. We stand for some kind of radical evangelicalism of pop art meets a neo-existential attempt to live in this postmodern world. But basically, we just follow Andy. I, I can remember the first time I just saw, it, it was actually a graphic design of the traditional Andy screen print from the celebrity faces, and there it was, and it was, you know, Britney Spears just up there. I was so fascinated by the colors, so I thought, amazing, and just um, looked at everything, but uh, it, I, I just consumed it, and it, it just changed the way I thought about um, everything. There were three waves of hipsters. The first were the beatniks, and they resulted in the hippies, which are nothing but dirty homos. Then there were definitely the punks, or at least some kind of post um, 70s dreariness that turned into something um, even worse, like glitter rock. Now there's an army of them, and they just want to be Warhols. I'm sick of it. Andy Warhol did say, I'm a superficial person, but not to go so far as to just be him. By now it should be obvious that Andy Warhol is the next messiah. A good plain look is my favorite look. If I didn't want to look so bad, I would just want to look plain. That would be my next choice. Basically, I formed the cult because I want to guide all of these neo-zombie freaks. These hipsters, this army that's just brewing. They need some help. And if they want to be like Andy, they don't know how to do it. That's apparent by now. They need a guiding force. They need someone to show them. Someone to be that icon. <laughs> anyway, they need to learn not everyone's perfect, but you can be better. And everyone's beautiful. I mean, in all of your photographs now, pimples are fine. Just use Photoshop. I love your daily news commercial on television. I've seen it 15 times. Oh, thanks, Andy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love it when he tells me those things.